have Osti on the mic. Well, Hi, the guys. What's going on, Gretch? How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty fantastic, all things considered. That last game was nutso, far more than I expected it to be. Yeah, that was a little OD. I, I, that spike was out of this world. But now we're on a brand new match here. We got John Numbers fighting off against Mr. E. Now, this is kind of crazy that these guys are fighting each other in winter semis, because if there were two players that thought we were going to take this tournament today, It'd be one of these guys because they're both playing out of their freaking mind I, earlier in bracket. Both players. Yes. So I was just having a talk a little bit earlier about this with uh, Redline. We saw uh, numbers 2-0 Jim after, um, in his own words, what he said has been sort of an awkward period where he's trying to find his footing in Ultimate. And now he's coming over here and taking one of arguably like the top three, top two players mm. right now in the region. Uh, yeah. And just 2 owing. Clean. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's literally in, on the PR. Jen is number two, and John Numbers is not PR. So really, yeah, he's not even. Oh, he's my not God. top 15. So, and meanwhile, I got Mr. E over here, who's a top 10 player somewhere on that PR. I think actually no, he's 11. Um, so you know, a lot, a lot of these players, you know, showing up, the finally evolving after season one of that PR. And again, they're both at super high percents right out of the gate. Great parry coming out from Mr. E. He's going to be fishing for this back air off stage. I love that answer. You super saw smart. him short hop to avoid that yes. little uh, little burst after the fall down. So that's basically where most people get caught trying to uh, punish Inkling's recovery, but it's not very vertical for the hitbox. So that was a super smart response. Uh, e in general has a lot of really smart responses. He's been super on top of it with parries lately. Um, Punishes have been really good. We saw him against, uh, oh, that was the reverse hitbox. By the way, I confused the PRs. I thought Mystery was 11. That was Dill. Dill, Dill was number 11. 11. Mystery is number four. My bad. Yes, that sounds a little bit more believable. Yeah, I was going to say, gonna say. Like, <laughs> as I was saying it, it felt wrong. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so 200%. Uh, even if Inkling can't kill, this is the percent where you start worrying about any stray hit. But... Are you looking for a little bit of extra credit playing mid-range carefully? Rolling away from that one so he doesn't eat an ambiguous setup. And you know what? Uh, Eric is doing a good job of just, like, you know, holding on to the stock. Because with with Inkling, sometimes they can have trouble finding the kill until they get that high a percent where grab starts to kill. Because you'll notice that a lot of times that John gets a kill, it's usually going to be off of up smash. Or a grab a higher percent. Up smash, he's definitely very fond of Roller. We saw some good mix-ups a couple games ago with him. Um, spacing out with back air is probably not going to win on the war at the ledge right there, though, with Lucina having those fantastic distorts, one of the best neutrals in the game. Yeah, and Inkling didn't have to deal with those a lot. I like that he goes for the splatter shot whenever uh, E's just trying to, like, you know, brute force it right there. And he even did. He even went for the dancing blade and just kind of <laughs> slashed through the ink. Hits the trade, gets the forward, and that's going to be Mr. E with a whole stock lead sitting at a pretty healthy percent. Mm -hmm. And this is a little bit difficult to play here, right? Because E sits comfortably, even when he's playing patient and playing back, he sits comfortably at that mid-range, which means that John doesn't get too much of a chance to set up. Mm. Um, but he plays far enough back that John doesn't get the chance to go in with the smaller hitboxes of numbers. That was a really fast up. Normally you see a bit of a delay on that. <laughs> he just hitboxed. Yeah, man, he's just trying to get out to the stage as fast as possible. And now here we go. Forward air is coming out. All right. You'll notice that John Numbers is trying to catch these jumps, right? He's swinging above him. And right there with the up smash, he was waiting for him to jump out of shield before going for that commitment. Mm -hmm. He's really hungry for the up smashes at this Super. point. All right. That was Don't a confirm. Cancel. That was a yes. Q confirm. That was a confirm. E probably could have teched out that, but I think that goes. area would have covered. Nice. That was a miss input. You know he wanted to forward smash, but it doesn't matter. Manages to clean up his mess. Bring this to a final stock situation. Honestly, with that sort of angle, it's very difficult uh, for Lucina to come back at all. You cannot hold uh, a B for whenever you want. You kind of just have to use it at the right percent, so that's a free edge guard for John. You know, Mystery is starting to shut down the splatter shot option. You notice that he has an answer for it. Dancing Blade just slashes right through it, and it's just not a good trade for John to even like attempt to go for it. Even if uh, he gets a lot of ink out of it, this is sort of hard to deal with, though, right there. What a mix-up. You see that <laughs> reset? There we go. Oh, Run that? up, Dancing Blade. Not no, enough to get no, the no, kill no, no just kill. yet. 127. This isn't Roy. This isn't Krom. Oh, but he was ready! <laughs> he was ready! He's already shown you that he was ready. Mr. E knows the recovery, dude. He waits for him to land on the ground because if you stand still, the little ink will push you away. But So Mr. E will wait for him to land on the stage, just short hop above it, and go for the most opportunity. Look, look, look at how patient he is. He knows exactly what's coming. It's so <laughs> optimal because he went for a down air, which confirms into the up air right afterwards. Really smart stuff and like good good decision making because right there, 
he went for the short hop because not because he was trying to call it out, but as like an option coverage, right? Because if John Numbers would have used the up B to go onto the ledge, him short hopping, it, it, nothing would have happened. Yeah, so he's like, might as well just try. And then, then he yeah. reacted to like with the down air once it, once he saw he was landing onto the top of the stage. Absolutely, so just really smart edge play coming out from Eric. It's very low commitment to do stuff like that, uh, uh, despite it being a very strong combo starter on most of the fire moves already. All right, here we go. Pokemon Stadium 2, a way bigger stage for John to move around in. Mm -hmm. He actually had a really good call on that up smash read, but wasn't quite far enough with it. Mm. Yeah, a right. lot of ink off of that jab. You see how much damage that did? Mm -hmm. Plus adding on that defense down debuff. All right. Gonna have to look out for it. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with Inkling. The dash dance. Whenever did Inkling's he just taunt? Uh, probably. <laughs> Knowing John. The thing is, like, with Inkling's dash dance, it's hard to tell what the heck the character's doing sometimes. Mm -hmm. There we it's go, just waits for an opening, goes for the dancing blade. You saw DP went for the oh. forward, caught the dolphin slash. He's what still, was that angle? That was crazy, but obviously, no matter where Inkling is off stage, odds are they'll get back to the stage. That up B is really strong. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Very patient from E right there, doesn't land with a hitbox and doesn't try too fast to get back to stage, and avoids John's down smash. That was a good mix-up from Eric, even though it didn't work out. You saw him run off the platform, drop with an up air both times, and that time he tried to go for a forward oh smash. He is so God. hungry to finish this jump. Did, did you see him bounce off that ledge and narrowly? I'm talking like his Inches, nose hairs pixels. split. Pixels. Okay, well, John's still in this, though. He has a... This lead doesn't really matter too much because they're both at killing percentage. Just whoever gets his first kill, that's not going to be able to get a kill off of that up throw. Got nerfed severely from Smash 4. All right. It is getting... <laughs> Play it safe. Yep. Very safe option, very low commitment. Uh, very strong, actually. It would have killed a lot earlier. Yeah, I mean, that was numbers for going for a kind of a risky option with ledge attack, expecting Mystery to play a little bit aggressive. There he goes. And downer's a really good combo starter for Lucina if he managed to land that joint. Oh, yeah. Oh, going arc. very deep. I actually, like that. Yo, that was an uh, instant stage spike into Uppy. That was super smart. Uh, no, he did not get his jump. Yeah. Very nice. Saving it. Good on John. Tries to go for the up air, trying to catch E. On his way back. This is such strong ledge play coming from Mystery. He's already got at 94%, and there's been very little stage control coming from John's side. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Even though um, it's been touted that uh, ledge game is a lot weaker, and I've said it too. I said it earlier uh, just a set or two ago. Uh, it is still a very strong option to get a lot of percents for a lot of characters. Mm. Especially one. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, there you throw? go. Down throw. I mean, he immediately went for it to try it as a DI mix up, you know, because if you're not ready for it, you saw how quick the throw was. Mm -hmm. it, it obliterated Mr. E completely. Yes, he's off the stage. He holds jab to cover the spot dodge. Good call. Now, this could be the turnaround that John's looking for, right? He's got a little bit of momentum. Mm -hmm. Running low on ink, and he's off stage. Never mind. Yeah. Oh! Ledge attack spot. again. Ledge attack works. Good dash dance. So, dash dance. Normally, uh, low profile makes it very difficult for a lot of characters to deal with, and that's still the case here with uh, Lucina wanting to keep to the air, use Nair Fares and whatnot to space out, but uh, moving forward with forward tilt and down tilt are very effective ways to uh, put the shutdown. Very hungry for some damage off these dancing blades, and but it's a really good punish tool, right? Because whenever John commits to throwing that spike grenade, there's a lot of lag afterwards, which Mr. E is capitalizing on. Uh, Ford Smash may have been a misinput or a hard read call out, either or, nothing from it. He thought maybe Mystery was gonna like jump in, potentially. Mm -hmm. It does have a pretty decent vertical hitbox, all things considered. You notice that John's trying to cover his shield with these like uh, underhanded splat grenades. Has him off stage, gives him a chance to recharge some more ink for another splat grenade. Forces the, that was a really good call from John, right? Because he threw out the grenade to the full. Force Mystery to wait on the ledge so he could get the timing right afterwards to get a free grab. Really, really smart gameplay coming out. Mm -hmm. But he's got to charge that ink. He does have to charge there that There we go. I mean, honestly, whenever John has to charge an ink, <laughs> his go-to option seems to be dash attack. All right. Gets him up in the air, going for a juggle. Very difficult for Inkling to openly win against an up air. Okay, back throws just to get some stage control. Throws at the splat grenade, forcing Mr. Eric to recover a certain way. Not going to get the kill off a rapid jab, but still applying more and more damage. One grab away. From taking this to his final stock. He's looking for it. He saw the way he was dash dancing. Oh, he lets it go. Jab will kill, though. It no! will not, dude. That thing is no! stale. He's been doing it so much. Oh, my God. And this All is right. like, there we go. He's just going yeah, for the yeah. down tilt. I mean, this is one of the problems with the Inkling is that sometimes, sometimes, mm -hmm. they can have trouble finding that kill, you know? They don't just have, like, free kill moves. Yeah. Uh oh, uh, and that's Mr. Yeah. E just doing neutral air, 
Really strong option for like ledge. It covers a lot of options. As long as you get the timing right for when they're gonna push up on like you have like get up attack, get up neutral, and roll all covered. Hell, that would have that would have caught jump too. Mm -hmm. Just it's all about timing when he's gonna go for the option. So like that was just fantastic spacing. It was coming out for mystery. And speaking of options, you had mentioned that it's very mm -hmm. difficult for Inkling to kill. We'd seen in a previous set that John was pretty fond of pulling out Roller, even holding Roller uh, for the double hit against Shield. Barely that, used it. Yes, barely used it because Lucina likes to keep in the air. Air hard counters roller. Even if yeah. Inkling can jump cancel out of the roller, there's very little that they can actively do against a sword that's currently planted between their Which eyes. Which is funny because when John was playing against Frozen earlier, he, mm -hmm. like, because he was always in the air because uh, Frozen was playing Peach, mm -hmm. and he called him out so many times with up smash and, like, other anti-aerial moves that he still landed roller on him. 